Hello Virgos. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, I am doing private readings, so if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. It is $50 for a 30 plus minute reading, and yeah, my email is uh, it's right below in the description box if you want to just copy it. Okay, let's see. Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Moon. Hmm. Someone was juggling a third party, or they there was there was some kind of imbalance here. I feel like this person was actually juggling something, and that's why you left them behind, or that's why. I feel like they almost have bad karma for juggling you with something else. They weren't really giving you the, the attention they should have been giving you. Let's see what happened there. Four of Swords. Seven of Swords. Page of Cups. And the Hanged Man. The Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Southern of Cups. Hmm, okay. I'm getting a few different messages here. So, and you probably already know what this story is. I feel like you already had clarity about this um, or your intuition told you this. So they were juggling something else. For some, this was actually a person. They thought they could have their cake and eat it too. They thought that they could have you and kind of just go play the field, see what else was out there. Maybe, you know, date more than one person and kind of feel it out, try to figure out who they wanted to be with um, and kind of, you know, string multiple people along, never really fully committing to anybody. Um, for others, I feel like it might have it might have just been also them there was some kind of third party energy, whether that was a family member or a friend or a lover, or maybe it's not even a person. For some of you, this could be like finances. They wanted to kind of focus on finances and career and other things. But the overall energy that I got is that they were keeping this connection stagnant. They wanted to basically save you for later. That's the energy that comes through strongly. They wanted to focus on this other person or this other um or playing the field or focusing on this other, uh, you know, career finances and kind of come back to you when they felt like they were more ready for you. For some of you, I actually feel like this is somebody who's not good with finances or you might not be good with finances. And for some, there's a message that uh, it's almost like going through another karmic cycle with finances because you do need to get better about finances. Um but it seems like there was some kind of clarity here. I feel like this person made excuses for themselves. I think they almost saw themselves as a victim with the eight of with the eight of swords here. They tried to tell themselves it was justified to to juggle to it's almost like they tried to argue with this with their spirit guides and with the universe. I feel like their spirit guides were saying no, like this is not justified. You can't be doing this. And this person kept fighting with their spirit guides and saying like trying to make excuses for themselves and seeing themselves as a victim. And I feel like there was a harsh energy that came in, this truth and clarity, this justice with the Ace of Swords. And I feel like for some, if they were focusing on money over love, if they were prioritizing money and finances over uh, emotions, like if they were very materialistic, I think that they lost some of their money or they lost a job. possibly during a planetary cycle or like a like a full moon or a new moon there might have been something that happened that took something away from them because they they weren't they weren't balancing they weren't finding that balance they were being too materialistic too greedy um but yeah for others the, the overall energy though is I feel like they were juggling something and I feel like they got left behind because of it they thought they could just buy themselves some time they thought they could come back to you when they're ready and uh, sure enough, they got left out in the cold. This was whatever this was, I feel like your spirit guides revealed it to you. I actually kind of feel like there was a lot that happened behind the scenes with this, where I mean, you might not be conscious of it, your person might not be conscious of it. 
but I almost feel like your spirit guides kind of came to this person telepathically and said, hey, like, let go of this third party or we're going to we're going to reveal, you know, we're going to reveal this third party uh, to your person, you know, and you might have found out like via tarot reading or something else. Or they might have said, like, you know, balance out your finances, uh, you know, just just get it together. Stop juggling. Stop trying to buy yourself time. Otherwise, like you you either tell your person what's going on here or we're going to tell them for you is kind of what happened. I also feel like this person was supposed to be learning karmic lessons. Like there was there was meant there was a destined period of separation between you two. They, there was meant to be a separation for them to learn some kind of karmic lesson, for them to heal, for them to go inward, for them to meditate and get into the, a more spiritual energy and less materialistic. But I feel like for some, it's like they didn't really, I'm going to see where they're at now, but like at least in the recent past, I feel like they weren't really learning the lessons. I feel like they took the time that was supposed to be used for healing and self-reflection and instead they decided to be sneaky to be disloyal uh page of cups the hanged man four of pentacles we got seven of wands and sorry about that seven of cups or five of wands and seven of cups hmm. let me see here Just being greedy, being selfish, wanting, wanting everything, wanting, wanting to have, it. and there's nothing wrong with wanting everything, but it's like, I mean, I think there's something wrong with wanting everything when it's like, you're never grateful for what you do have. It's like, this is the type of person that like, they were never grateful for what they were given. If they had money, it's like, they wanted more money. If this person's a millionaire, they want to be a billionaire. If they have true love with you, they, they, you know, they want to see if the grass is greener on the other side. They want it's like they always want more and more and more you know what I mean like this person isn't it's it's one thing to just have goals like that's positive but it's it's one of those things where the, like with this person it's more of like a trauma where it was like they just always want like nothing was ever enough for them you know just kind of very stingy energy here show me what happened with this person and again yeah it's like they were supposed to take that time to heal but instead they just repeated their old karmic patterns um and I think when, when your spirit guys revealed this to you, I feel like you kind of left them out in, in the cold. I think that your, your intuition was kind of revealing what was going on with this person. So tell me, okay, so they, so you got, someone got left out in the cold. Um, weren't, they weren't learning the karmic lessons. So, so where are they at now? The emperor. Okay. The sun. Southern of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Chariot. I feel like with the Emperor here in the Sun, I feel like they have this awareness that they have to step into this divine masculine or divine feminine role if they want to be with you. It's like they need to, they don't want to be in this player anymore. Play, they don't want to be in this player energy anymore. They, they, want to, they want to go back. They want to do the work. They know that if there's going to be a positive result, that they're going to have to step up and be in this emperor energy and be more disciplined, more self-disciplined, um, more logical, more balanced. They're wanting to present some kind of offer here. But with the Knight of Nine of Swords, they're kind of in their head. They're not sure if you would accept it at this point because you might have already written them off for some of you. How are they feeling towards you? Tell me more about how they're feeling towards you. Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Yeah, they see you as above them. They, they're kind of in this, it's still a little bit of a childish energy. Um, and they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, stable, logical, grounded. They want to come forward quickly, but they're kind of afraid that they're going to be blocked. Knight of Cups. It's almost like they're they're thinking about different ways to come forward. They're like, I'll come forward as a page of wands. I'll come forward in like, like a passionate, romantic gesture. But maybe you won't accept that. And then it's like... If it's not enough, they're like, well, I'll come forward as a knight of cups. Like, I'll, I'll take that extra step, you know, queen of swords. Some of you are in queen of swords energy. You're standing your ground now because you just, you know, 
you felt like this person was never going to appreciate you pretty much is what I'm getting with the cards here. Five of Swords. Six of Wands. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's determined. Do you see how I have all these cards where it's like you feel kind of hopeless and during Queen of Swords energy where you're like, is this person like, would they ever really appreciate me? I think whatever this truth was that came out, I think it was really pretty painful for you, whether it was a third party or you just realize that they weren't appreciating you quite as much as you thought they were. Um, you just, uh, it's a really interesting energy that I'm picking up here. It's like they just thought that they could explore other options or they thought that they could, you know, kind of do their own thing and work on themselves and that you would just be there waiting for them, like, you know, old reliable pretty much. Um, and now it's like they are, they had to learn some tough karmic lessons. I feel like, I feel like your spirit guides or their spirit guides are really putting them in their place because I feel like, again, there's something, there's something about something like going on behind the scenes where it was like the, the secret that came out or this energy, like something about channeling their energy where it's like your spirit guides might've been blocking you from finding out what it was or, or figuring something out for a little bit because they wanted to give your person a chance to come forward and tell you. Um, because they knew that it would break a lot of trust if you had to find out through, you know, tarot readings or through, you know, your spirit guides or whatever else. But I feel like this person didn't really tell you. So you had to find out through alternative means. And it could have been through friends. It could have been just intuitively, like through tarot readings, just finding out what they were holding back, what they were hiding. Um, and it might not have even been like a big secret. Like it might not necessarily have been cheating or anything horrible like that for all of you. For some of you, it might have just been like, you know, their thought process, you might have started picking up on their thought process and kind of recognizing that, you know, they just saw you as like kind of taking you for granted and kind of thinking that, you know, they'll just go do their own thing and, and have fun, or they'll work on themselves. And you know, you'll just be there waiting, like they can just put you on the shelf and not really do anything with you. And they'll, you know, you'll you'll be there when they feel like coming back for you, basically. Um, and yeah, again, they were supposed to, to learn some karma. And they, I think they did learn karmic lessons, but I think they had to learn them in a really harsh way. So, so again, I think that there was supposed to be a period of separation that was destined, but they were supposed to like kind of, you know, use that time to meditate, to go inward, to heal themselves, to kind of develop a, a spiritual awakening, to reconnect with their intuition and their spirit guides. But I think instead they kind of used that time to... Um, it's like they ran from their intuition or they ran like they they sabotaged things like they fought their spirit guides on it, you know, so they ended up having, you know, it could have been a really gentle process where, yeah, there might have been some shadow work and some some healing, some traumas and triggers that come up to deal with. But if they had been on board with their spirit guides, I feel like it would have flowed fairly smoothly. But the fact that they wanted to keep being sneaky, it's almost like this person has like so much audacity that they almost felt like not only did they feel like they could be sneaky with you, but they almost felt like they could be sneaky with like, you know, God or the universe or their deities or whoever it is that they that they work with or are connected to. It's like they felt like they could be sneaky with like, you know, these universal energies. Um, Like they could tell, you know, because it's like your spirit guides know where your heart is at. This person could be like, could, you know, try to play the victim and try to argue with their spirit guides, but their spirit guides know and your spirit guides know their heart. They know their true intentions, despite what they might be saying out loud. You know, your spirit guides can feel your energy. They know what's up. You can't really lie to your spirit guides. It's not really going to work out very well. Um, but yeah, they just made the whole process a lot harder for themselves. And they had to learn these, these tough lessons in a much harsher way. I almost feel like they could have learned these karmic lessons alone going inward. So like, let's say that it was about treating you well and about, you know, um, getting on the same page with you and like, uh, like appreciating people. Like, let's say they had some karmic lessons to learn about, you know, opening their heart and appreciating people, appreciating what they do have. Um, you know, they probably could have learned that lesson just being in introspective, intuitive. Instead, if they, you know, let's say, for example, they decided to go out and mess around with a bunch of people and try to distract themselves. Well, maybe someone that they, they try to distract themselves with had to teach them that harsh lesson instead. And they had to go through a rejection that they wouldn't have had to go through otherwise if they had just gotten on board with their spirit guides. Um, yeah. 
<coughs> sorry. They're wanting to come forward now, but they're perceiving you as more of like a queen of swords type where it's like, you see how like you have this energy where someone's defensive and they're like, no, I'm coming forward anyway. Like I want this victory with you. Um, tell me more about this. The fool, the empress, the wheel. Yeah, they learn these karmic lessons, so they want a new start. They want a passionate new start with the empress. And they're manifesting it. They're not willing. I'm not feeling like this person's really willing to let you go now that they have. It's like they have all this regret, you know, and now now that they have learned these karmic lessons, it's like they want to come back in this magician energy, you know, manifesting this, uh, taking control uh, being in the emperor energy it's like they're kind of stepping into this more masculine role are they can you trust this though are they really actually changing we have the eight of pentacles reversed king of wands hmm. six of pentacles ace of cups Knight of Pentacles. Let me see. So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, I almost feel like it's like they're not really putting... Like, they they don't feel like they have time to put the hard work in. It's not that they don't want to, but I think that when they kind of have these tough karmic lessons come in, like shit just kind of hit the fan for them. And now they're like, oh my God, I got to get in there fast. Or like this person's going to be really done with me. It's almost like they didn't fully notice that you were gone. Like they might've been so used to you just always being there, just always being able to pick up on your energy. They kind of just put you on this little shelf. So like, they're like, yeah, I'll come back for them when I'm ready, when I feel like it after I, you know, after I've worked on myself or after I've played the field or whatever it was, it's going to be different for everybody, but whatever it was they were trying to do, um, and then it's like, I think one day they just kind of woke up and realized that, you know, you're not there anymore. Like they, they couldn't feel your energy as much. And I think they kind of started panicking. They're like, wait a minute, like maybe they're like, go like, wait, I need to go back and check the shelf. Like, are, are they still where I left them? Um, and you weren't, you know what I mean? Like you were gone. And I think it was devastating for them. They, they, you know, thought you would always be there. So I think they're not really doing the hard inner work completely because they want to rush back in. Cause they're like, well, if I don't do something now, I might not have a, a, you know, a chance. Ten of Pentacles, the Tower. Yeah, because this foundation crumbled and they had to go inward. The World. Four of Cups. Are they going to... Are they going to change, though? So, yeah, they're rushing back in and they're desperate to, to win you back. But are they actually going to take the time to earn you when they get you back? Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Strength. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. Five of Cups. Three of Pentacles. I think... I think a lot of it depends on your energy, to be honest. Because um, some of them are coming in with like Knight of Wands energy. And Knight of Wands, honestly, is kind of like player, F-boy, F-girl energy where it's like, yeah, they come in hot and heavy, but sometimes they can be just as quick to leave. So I think this person is very kind of flighty. Like, I think this is someone that's very, um, like, they just like to have their cake and eat it too. They like to have options. But I do feel like there is that desire to do right by you because I think that they know that you're standing in your power. Like there might be some kind of small gesture here with the Page of Pentacles. But I think that they know that, you know, there's a final battle here, but I think they know that you're willing to leave them behind if they're not building with you. And I think that's the thing is that you have to stand in your power if this person comes back around and don't don't get excited and caught up like oh they're finally here I've been waiting so long for this and you just jump right into it and just forgive everything right away it doesn't mean that you need to be cold and bitchy or anything like that I mean the queen of the, the strength and the queen of cups I mean the queen of cups is emotional she is mature she is but she's still a queen she's still grounded and balanced you know what I mean like she's not gonna throw herself at anybody she's not gonna um 
just be like, oh, yeah, all is forgiven. Let's be together right now. You know what I mean? She's going to be like, okay, like, let's see. I would like to see some change. Like, she'll, she'll observe. You know what I mean? She'll, she won't be cold with him. She won't be detached. But she, she still has her self-respect. She still has that balance, that strength, you know, uh, male or female. So I think that's kind of what's going to help this person change is like recognizing that if they do want to screw up again, they're going to lose you for good. You're not doing this unless they're building something stable and solid with you. So basically don't let yourself get overly excited if this person comes back around. You know what I mean? Like keep the messages light and sweet. Um, don't overdo it. Don't don't put a lot of pressure on them. Like let be, them be kind of the one to don't let them take you for granted again. Don't fall back into those old patterns with that person. If this person tries to put you back on that shelf and save you for light for later, be like, you know what? Screw you. Bye. I'm going down a different path then and manifesting somebody who does actually want to be with me now or somebody who is going to, you know, appreciate me. Um, Cause yeah, I just feel like there's that warning for some of you. Cause it's like some, you know, you guys really do love this person. So I think when they come back, it's like, you might get excited and just want to be like, yeah, let's do it now. Um, but, but, you know, I mean, and you can, you can say, yeah, I'm giving this a chance, but like, it's still, still let them know that you're observing what they're doing. You know what I mean? That like, yeah, you're, you're open to forgiving them. You're open to pursuing something here, but you're going to, watch them you're gonna observe them you're gonna see what they're doing you're gonna take note of how they're treating you how they're showing up for you um and if you like what you see then then yeah you're gonna give this another chance because there is love here there is mutual love here um what else judgment three of wands queen of wands the devil Why the devil? Six of Cups, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups. There might be someone that this person needs to leave behind. This could be even like a family member or somebody that wanted to separate you guys, or it could just be some kind of toxic energy here, or somebody that's younger than them. I get like a kind of young energy from this. Um, ten, yeah, Ten of Swords. It's like there needs to be some kind of ending between them and somebody else. Justice, temperance. There might have been... So I feel like it's also saying with whoever the third party was, there has to be that ending there. Um, and again, it could be a family member that just wanted to separate you guys. It could be a way of thinking. Just whatever outside energy was affecting you guys. Like, it... I think they're making that judgment call too, that if they want these ships to sail in, they need to clear this energy up. You know, you can't be friends with somebody that doesn't want you and your person to be together, or you can't have a family member like a, like a mother or father, like some kind of toxic family member that's like always like draining you and, and sabotaging you and doesn't want you to be with anybody. Like this is like controlling mom or controlling dad vibes. It's like, somebody that feels like they have like the authority over their child for some, um, or like a friend that wants to be with them still or something. So they have to clear that energy up. I feel like that's going to help your relationship a lot too. And I think they're recognizing that. Um, any final messages just really quick here. Nine of cups, death, the star, yeah, they, they got tired of wishing for this. They got tired of waiting for the ship to sail in. They realized that they have to transform and they have to do the work and the healing if they want this. They have to heal past heartbreak too that might have been making them sabotage these connections. King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting energy here. Yeah, because they almost, they, it's almost like they know that they're going to have to convince you that what they have to offer is better than you being single. Because you're single, you're abundant, you're focusing on finances, you're, you're, you know, having this glow up. And if they want you in this hierophant energy, this commitment with you, possibly marriage, they know they have to convince you. They have to convince you that being with them is going to be better, that they can offer you more than what you would get on your own. They have to have something to offer you. They have to be in this King of Pentacles energy if they want to do this right. So 
so so yeah to to recap you know i do see them kind of rushing forward because they they realize that you're not waiting anymore um and i think they're kind of panicking about that so they might still not have fully healed when they do come forward they might just be trying to pull you back in but i do see that as long as you remain in your power i do feel like they will do the healing work again you really have to be careful to not to, you really have to be careful to find that balance and not go too easy on this person, but not be aggressive or overly harsh. You know, it's just kind of being confident, being in your power, continuing to focus, you know, they can feel it energetically too. So it's like, keep pursuing your hobbies, your career, the things that you love, even when this person comes back around, don't make them like your number one priority again. Like, keep finding that balance. Like, let let them work for it. You know what I mean? Like, don't close yourself off, but also let them show you what they have to offer. Let them, let them see you in this confident, charming, charismatic, powerful energy. You know what I mean? Um, you know, really, really let them work for it. Let them prove to you that what they have to offer you is, is going to be worth committing to. That it's, it's going to be worth it to not be single anymore, you know? Really let them show you. Let them bring this justice in. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. And yeah, please comment too if it resonates. Thank you guys.